I can tell you, I'm going to make my dreams become a reality. And it starts right here with my studying. The work ethic and discipline that I practice will carry me, not only through university, but through the rest of my life. I don't care how much I have to invest, how much time I have to invest, how many hurdles I have to jump through. I'm going to continue doing this until I'm successful. I love how Eric Thomas talks about his show up rule. He says, you can pretend that you care, but you can't pretend that you're there. The only way you can show that you care is if you show up. And what I'm asking you to do for me is to show up every single day. It's easy to miss a class on Monday morning when you're feeling tired. The problem is you'll miss that one class and you'll get away with it. Then you'll miss another class and then another and then another. It's human nature. If we can get away with it and gain instant short-term satisfaction from it, then we keep on doing it. And it's an easy trap to fall into. That's why it's so important to not miss even one class because it can quickly snowball into something more dangerous. And it's funny because the more obsessed you get with your studying, the louder the haters will get. The more they will try to drag you down and pull you back down to their level. And when I say obsession, don't get me wrong. Your health and well-being should always be put first. Exercise, eat well, sleep eight hours a night, and then study like a madman throughout the entire day. People will think you're crazy. Why are you studying so much? What's the point? Why don't you ever leave your desk? Why do you always spend so much time reading textbooks? If people don't think you're crazy, you're not yet operating at the outer limits of your potential. You're not there yet. And that's the difference between people that are good and people that are great. The good are passionate. The great are obsessed. Obsession is a necessity. But in order to make that change, you need to be real with who you are. If you're disappointed with your grades, what could you have done differently? Did you really study to your full potential? Did you really not procrastinate at all when you were revising? And when you look deep within you, it can get raw. And it can get ugly sometimes when you're looking in the mirror. But if you're not real with who you are, then nothing's going to change. But you will be bold and courageous enough to look in the mirror and fix what's in that mirror. And how you address it is you deal with it head on. You deal with it every day. You deal with it every single day of your life where you say, Okay, I'm not performing as well as I could in math, so I'll allocate an extra one hour a day towards that. And that's when growth happens. That's when life really begins.